All right, welcome back, everybody here at Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. This is going to be part two for our rank up stream. The first part went, uh, yeah, it was just a nightmare. You know, it went as, as bad as it could could go. So we're going to, uh, you know, refresh. I'm going to just refresh everything here um, and try again. Still very confident in this deck. Still, still think this deck's really good. We just had a nightmare run but we're going to get back at it we're going to just be playing uh some games in rank we're trying to get as high of rank today as we can that's probably why we are losing nothing ever goes according to plan but we're at 1081 now and we will be uh, playing for about an hour 20 minutes or so as we um Kind of turn this into uh, three videos. Okay. So we got Omenhawk and Dilution. So that's a good start. It's a good start. And we can kind of just keep going up the curve if we would like. Push back the darkness. with Senna and Grizzled Ranger. No room for doubt. This is mercy. So I have to attack like this, not the other way. If I attack the other way, they could chump block Lucian, turn Bark Beast into a 3-3 and have the 3-3 block the Omen Hawk. So going this way, um, it's Omen Hawk trading with their 2-1, which is a great trade for me. And then Bark Beast turns into a 3-3. That is still a great trade for me. What's the plan? We shoot them. I'm glad they played that pre-combat, so we have the opportunity to play Senna. I could let Lucian die since I got the backup Lucian. It's probably better to level up Lucian though. Stay back. Pay for this. We're gonna need more coffins. We're gonna need more coffins. So I can attack, which just means they chump block with Bark Beast. If I attack, if I play Grizzled Ranger and attack with a Scout, they can block the Grizzled Ranger, and then I would get an additional attack with Lucian, but I'd already have the additional attack for Scout, so I'd still only have the two attacks. Um, I don't think I'm still going to do that. I still have like a 3-4 and, and the 4-3 double strike afterwards, and then this thing's dead. That's a good play. Now they get to eat here. That's fine. Again, we got the double strike. And a 3-4 now. move of desperation right there. Yeah, it's a move of desperation. Okay, new video. 
So we need to do. We need to reset. Okay, starting back over. Nine eighty-eight. Went up about a hundred. Okay, we had a much better hand. We had one drop, two drop. Um, you know, Omen Hawk Lucian, which is arguably probably not as good as Fleet Feather Tracker into War Chefs, but still, like that's. Those four are the cards that we want to see in our opener. Flea Feather Tracker, Omen Hawk for the one drops, War Chef Solution for the two drops. Those are the cards I'm looking for. Highest rank, I... It was single digits. I think it was seven. I think seven's the highest rank I've been. Could keep Protégé... Protégé matches up well against Twisted Fate. Yeah, we'll keep Protégé. No, you get out here. Come on, War Chefs. Yuck. What are those things? Yuck. Well, that wasn't good. War Chefs, Lucian. All right, take Lucian. Push back the darkness. Burn away the shadows. Pack them good. Hmm. So basically, I don't want to let them turn on Plunder. And I just kind of feel like they, they could have like a Make It Rain. Like, they could have a lot of removal that easily kills Lucian with the Powder Keg out. Anyway. And I have a backup Lucian. Yeah, so they had the Make It Rain. So I'm, I'm glad that the, the Lucian, you know, killed that 2-2, didn't let them turn on Plunder. Uh, they have another Make It Rain. <sighs> These Powder Kegs are really annoying. I just can't, I can't play the Lucian if they have a second Make It Rain. It's just a total nightmare. Definitely trying hard to turn on Plunder. Slow down, will you? Neither the flames nor the depths can claim me. Time to get rowdy. All right, now we'll go Sejuani to kill the Gangplank. That's the plan. Carved from the savage cold. I think I've navigated this game pretty well. No, Twisted Fate's done. Ugh. Darn. Well, we'll still hurt this thing. want to turn on this plunder so bad. They gotta have, like, you know... They gotta have, like, the plunder cards, right? Like, the steal my, my card stuff. Safe 
There's a chill in the air. Alright, well they got a warning shot so they can turn it on. <sighs> okay. Um Yeah, I, I regret using that I, I really regret using that Fury of the North now. Well, I mean of course I didn't know they were gonna have a warning shot. Because now that they have warning shot, they have warning shot riptide rex. Like if they have riptide rex, I sure hope they don't. Because obviously I want to be playing Cythria, like that was my plan. But if they have, if they have Riptide Rex, we're in a lot of trouble. I could go Babbling Bjerg, because Babbling Bjerg draws Fury of the North, and so we'd have perfect mana to play Fury of the North. Maybe just do that. So I can either keep Sejuani alive or Lucian. Lucian would be three out of four now. See if I regret this. This didn't go well. That that Fury of the North play, yeah, they did have the pilfer goods. Still that. The Fury of the North play on blocking on the Gangplank was real. Like, that that play... It was good against Pilfer Goods. It was really bad against Yordle Grifter into Riptide Rex. My shield is yours. It's a very bad play into those. In a long path to get and... Uh, my opponent had the exactly... Yeah. Perfect stuff to punish me. This game's over now. Now they level up Twisted Fate, another Yordle Grifter. Man, this game should... I should have won this game. I navigated the early parts of the game so well for what I had. And that one play. Casting the Fury of the North. Can't be leveled up Twisted Fate, nobody can. Possible. What is this attack? Don't duck on my account. They're coming! Hi! What is this attack? They gotta have a trick, but I sure hope they don't. If they didn't have a trick, they just lost. But they did. Those early powder kegs with the make it rains were were so critical like those were awesome for them slowed me down quite a bit
And then, of course, my first five cards all costing either four or six mana that we drew. Not ideal either. Okay, this hand I'm going to actually keep single combat against, you know, like this is uh, elusive burn deck. Grizzled Ranger gets, needs to leave for sure. Um, man, I really want a one drop. I don't mind all three of these cards. Yeah, we'll just keep this. We can go War Chefs on, t like if we do nothing on one, we can still go War Chefs on two, and on turn three, we can have Protector and Single Combat because we'll have the four mana. And so it's nice having, um, going Barrier before Single Combat also. down I uh, know yeah we just had some some poor RNG with these games <clears throat> my opponents keep on having exactly what they need uh, basically like they like there's like always like this one one card that will beat us and they have it every time just how it goes It's okay though. No one goes hungry. I mean, I started off just so well with this deck, so it was just I was just bound to hit a, a rough streak with it. Like I said, before today, I was twenty-one and two with this deck. So I was just due for a rough streak. Definitely do not have this game won. That's a really good draw. That's a really bad draw. It's gonna be close. Gonna be close. Yep. This is how it goes, though. Punish just keep on having perfect thing to kill me. The Legion Grenadier to block and do two damage to me, and then that. I 
I don't understand. I don't understand how we we just do like this day that's just completely dedicated to being a, a try hard rank up stream and you know all that kind of stuff and the one day that I really want to do well and I just can't win a game. Uh. Frustrating. Can I just have a one drop? Can't have a one drop. Because this hand is so bad. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Bolt Action Jackson. Thanks for the donation deck. I'll play that on Tuesday. I have two other donation decks to play on Tuesday also, so I'll get you on Tuesday also, because you know we have meme tier Monday tomorrow. We were supposed to rank up today so that you know tomorrow with meme tier we wouldn't mind to lose in our rank. But... Thanks, one drop. I just want to concede and go to the next game. This, this game is over. If we just had this card last turn, it would have been just fine. Okay, it's an overwhelm deck. Cool. That sounds good. I'll be shocked if we win this game. Be shocked. I have what six one drops and nine two drops. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking. The six one drops. I think there's been three games that we've had a one drop on turn one. No, there's no difference if you, there's no difference in rewards for where you finish in masters at the end of the season. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. So 
I don't even want to, I don't really even want to play a six drop first because, you know, then they get to play something, toss some more things, and, you know, make another 2 1 and all that kind of stuff. So I just want to go straight to attacks before Maokai can toss some more things. Well, good news is Ruination's gone, I suppose. No, there's no there's no difference in MMR. You, everybody goes back to platinum. If you're in Masters, you go back to platinum four. Yeah, platinum four. Show them what we're made of. possible hand we could ever have with this deck. That was horrible. Just mulligan everything. I'm, I'm just a sor I'm sorry everybody. I'm sorry that this is going so bad. I'm sorry. I wish it would go better, but wishing doesn't change anything. Wow, we have a one drop. Okay, we have a one drop. So against Elise Maokai with PNZ, I want to be blocking and trading a lot. Lucian's better to play against Elise than Warchef's is. So I'll go that route. I'm not sure exactly what else they'll do for turn two. I don't know if they'll be playing like Bunku Rookie or maybe like a Rack. I I don't know. I don't know what they'll what else they'll be playing on two mana. Well, Lucian's also better than Warchefs against Valfies because now that's one one out of four for the level up. They can't block profitably. Actually curving.
Okay. Chaos turn. Smell that? A bite to cook it. Frenzy skitter. That's two out of four as far as Lucian's concerned. Alright, so leveled up Elise. Means we get to start doing a bunch of challenger stuff. Not ideal. We're gonna have to just kill Elise. Not let them challenge. Like they want to. Worst case scenario obviously would be if they just have another Elise in hand and play it. They they just played the Elise's crawling sensation. So it'd have to be their third Elise. That would be a nightmare for us. Senna. Can you stomach this? Strength and grace, beauty in the play. It's just a regular calling sensation. So like I could eat the frenzied skitter, then of course my protege goes to one health. I don't need to pump up Senna, even though I want to get above two health. Okay, all that stuff's gonna die. Do I want to just single combat and have my warships kill the frenzied skitter? 
instead. And I'll just let all that die and just keep these single combats. Could go single combat my protege and their frenzied skitter and that would level up Lucian and so we'd have a leveled up Lucian and still keep Senna. We'll just be patient. We'll see. I am I'm worried about like Phantom Prankster, Neverglade Collector, Maokai. That kind of stuff. This actually should work out really well for us, right? Like, we have a leveled up Lucian now. <laughs> I got all these scrolling sensations. I have to kill this collector. This puts my Lucian down to one health. putting Lucian down to one health. Alright, Maokai dead. They're down to nine. All my stuff has one health if they would just draw a Withering Whale. Um, yeah, they can get back in this. Grown snap mine. Cool card. Not gonna do it though. That's kind of cool. Instant speed overgrown snap mine for one mana.
All right, that's one win. Can we get two wins in a row? Can we get two wins in a row? All right, Sejuani Misfortune. You can get back at this deck. I guess I'll keep Senna. Please give me a one drop. Can we just have a one drop, please? One drop, please. Complete Feather Tracker. Yay, Open Hawk. The one drop. Because we know they always get Jagged Ta Taskmaster for turn one. Or Omen Hawk this month. They always get a one drop. Grizzled Ranger and the six drops are the are the worst cards to get the plus with Omen Hawk. Um, I guess I guess not really Sejuani. So I guess Sejuani is good, but basically Sithria being a six six or a seven seven doesn't change the card at all. Um, so yeah, you want you want your like two three mana cards or Babbling Bjerg or Sejuani. You want all of those or the even the one mana cards. You want all of those with your Omen Hawk triggers. Ye started without me. You're late. You're early. I've got your back. Both Grizzled Ranger and Laurent Duelist are both good plays. We'll go with the Grizzled Ranger. the worst thing for me to see. 2-4. Yuck. Yuck. Should have just gone straight to attacks. Missed your chance to run. Really don't want them to have misfortune. Please don't have misfortune. Okay, good. No misfortune. Not so fast. How you doing? Otherwise, that thing's just attacking again. I'll bring them peace. So we don't get to double spell. Just play one thing.
Pass turn. Go ahead. Pass turn. Let's get to it. They didn't pass turn. So what are they setting up? Fury of the North, make it rain. I'm just fine blocking against either Fury of the North or Make It Rain. If they go Make It Rain. Yeah. I mean, so like Fury of the North, that, that means they don't have the Fury of the North for my Lucian this next turn. Which is good. What's my best play against Sejuani? Like, if they don't have Sejuani, I'm probably winning. That's, that's like, their way of winning a Sejuani. What's my best play against Sejuani? Is it, like, Senna plus Duelist? We're just gonna play our. I mean, Sejuani is our best card. We're gonna just play our best card. Hope they don't have a Sejuani. If they do, they do. We're gonna play our best card. Safety will cost you. Okay. So. Ride onward. They don't, can't have Fury of the North. So I think they have to chump block here. I don't think they play Elixir of Iron. Yeah, Grace Claw, it's been going really rough today. This is our second video. Our first video, we went two and six. Now this one, two and three. It's been going very rough. Agent Iowa with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, Agent Iowa. Gets us our sub goal of the day. Yeah. The game was over if they did not have make it. If they did not have that uh, Fury of the North, the game was just over. Uh, I guess it's still over though. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, because I say I forgot I saved the challengers. Yeah, it's still over. Want to pop in and say thanks for the twisted violas. Having way too much fun at playing. That is another really good one. Stated. 
Okay. We got two wins in a row now. First time getting the two wins in a row. If we get one more, we call it a winning streak. What's up, Wimkey? Uh, this is my favorite deck to climb with. I know it hasn't it hasn't looked great today. We've we've just had a rough spot. Like I was doing so well with the deck before that we're gonna just run into a, a rough spot. Like that's just kind of how it is. Like I said, I was I was twenty one and two with this deck before today, and now we are five and nine today. So that's natural. That's gonna happen. Um, there are. Right, I've got a. Got a one drop. Doesn't happen too often. Cool. Glad you're enjoying Ezreal Karma. Good. Good. Nothing escapes my. Oh yeah, Kordak. Yeah, definitely. Played against your own deck on the ladder today? That is awesome. Your Hecarim deck? Cool. Badger Bear doesn't look as good against Hapless Aristocrat. I don't know if I want to just double Bright Steel Protector. What happens if I double Bright Steel Protector? Eh, I'll just play Crystal Ranger. I need three power with my challenger. Z. Three power. You dare. I'll take a dead or near and low. All right, so that cleans up, cleans up a little room for us on the board, and now we can actually use these things to challenge the Neverglade Collector and get that out of here, which is going to be pretty important. We could use a bite. All right, Kordek, you got a donation deck? Another one, awesome. 
Sejuani with Reckoning. Okay. Sounds good. I'll have you on Tuesday. It looks like Tuesday we're going to do an all donation deck day. Um, I may, I think that maybe, we may do the 10 hour stream on Tuesday, maybe. Um, cause yeah, I think you're, you're my fourth donation deck now for Tuesday. <laughs> so yeah, we'll do, we'll do a lot of, a lot of donation decks on Tuesday. Awesome. That'll be a fun day. One short. Protect and strike. This is mercy. In case of withering whale, I want this thing to stay alive. Kill that Neverglade collector. I was really worried about they who endure. Break their spirits and their souls. They're as good as dead. You're adorable when you're angry. I was really worried about they who endure. They're attacking. Nope, guess not. Should have played Cythria on their turn. Would have made life better. Come, stay a while. No spell for us, no Fury of the North. Finish that out.
Should have just played Cythria over one of those things. No place for the kind. Bleh. I'm what nightmares fear. Show them what we're made of. Problem. Mr. Chance to run. Not a hair out of place. Not lethal. Have the Neverglade Collector is blocking? Playing the Cythria really cost me that game. Man. You know, they, yeah. I mean, I, I had the full board, you know, on their turn. I passed, seeing if they would attack. They may attack, they didn't attack. They just passed back. And I guess I could have still played the Cythria. Pre combat. That that's I mean yeah uh, that was just a mistake by me. Mess that up. You can't make a, can't make a single mistake. You just can't make one single mistake. You do the game's over. Like that. Can't mess up. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Misfortune, uh, 
And this Fortune Sejuani is the most popular. We've played against it four times already today. That's that's a very good Misfortune deck to rank up with. But then also Scout Midrange with Quinn is good. And then also we we played, if you want it, a different version, a spicy one. We played um, we played it with Noxus and Katarina. Um, and real aggressive, low to the ground, yesterday, and we went 4-1 with that one, with, uh, called it Fortune Aggro, and that one's over on the YouTube channel. Um, so yeah, those are all good. Um, A delicious challenge. <clears throat> those are all good options for Misfortune decks. But the most popular one's the Sejuani one. Head to the face. No one goes hungry. So they block here, they gain three to go to twenty. They gain two here, they still stay at twenty. And then they take four afterwards. Attack just like this. Try to do seven. They got a removal spell. I have Fury of the North. Protect and strike. Yeah, that sounds good. So I'll go down to nine. Senna's reset. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. The easiest deck to pilot is, um, I mean, it's, that's a different answer for different people, but yeah, probably just an aggressive deck that's focused on, um, you know, a deck kind of like this, honestly. This this deck's a little trickier with all sorts of, with all sorts of challenger, um, but probably a deck that's just trying to, um, do the same thing every game. Like, no matter what, you want, like, a linear deck that's trying to do the exact same thing every single game. That's where you get easier. Um, honestly, yeah, like, that, uh, that Misfortune Katarina deck that we played yesterday, that's not too difficult to pilot. Yeah, that one's not a difficult one. Um, so Devour of Depths... Devour devs can just happen. Yeah, I can't play around that. I, I hope they don't have that card. That's the best card they could they could have. 
Yay! We're used to them having the best card they could have. Today. Pain is nothing. this stand and fight I guess that's better for me than this is mercy because otherwise I, I have this challenge and we get to we get to overwhelm over the three damage and then they block the babbling Bjerg. I guess they're forced to block babbling Bjerg, though It's not over yet. Don't say GG yet. These aisles will be cleansed. GG yet. Play the Fury of the North now and just get that Jaw Hunters out of here. So if I do that, what what could they possibly have? And then I, I challenge Maokai. They block Lucian. They have... Nah, it's not worth. They have Vengeance. They would stay alive. Yeah, I want to play it for more damage. This is only five damage right now. This is not lethal. Enough stalling. If it's a grass the undying on the three two. I think it should still be that should fury of the north ought to save it should make it lethal
Yeah, they've already played two Vile Feast. Awesome. Okay, getting better, getting better. It's our fifth time to play Misfortune and Sejuani. Similar deck to ours. We're gonna mulligan one of these threes. It's the Duelist. I don't mind don't necessarily like I'd rather have the duelist than the Scythria. Like I don't mind that card. Um but you know, I wanted to look for something a little better. This would have been a good turn to have the attack token on turn two. Play like war chefs, then attack. Ooh, they don't have a one drop. Correct. They do so uh Fear of the North is a burst spell. They do not get the chance to react to, to Fear of the North. However, they can they can still play another spell afterwards. Once um, once you play a spell, even if it's a, a burst spell, even though your opponent can't react to it, it's still a spell that um, that you're playing and. Uh, then your opponent gains, you know, so that's still you using your priority to cast that spell, so your opponent gains priority again afterwards. So Senna hits harder. I'm what nightmares fear. Let's go Senna. Perfect, make it rain. Can't fight on an empty stomach. I guess not necessarily perfect. It would have been better to do one damage. It would have been de better to do a damage to me than damage to Senna. Fortune favors the bold. Basically, if they didn't have misfortune, I don't. I don't know how they win without misfortune. But they do have misfortune, so. Have a chance. Um, Strength and grace, beauty in the play. Always forward. This is my moment. Love ya. I probably should have just blocked that thing with Senna, shouldn't I? The first time. The thing is, blocking with Senna lets them attack with Misfortune, so... Maybe not. They need Fury of the North to keep Misfortune alive. You're cute when you're armed. Firepower's always in style. Break their spirits and their souls. Feel the sizzle! Hardly fair. Head to the base. I might as well do this. I demand support. Go ahead. I get to eat my tutu here. No one goes hungry. They don't have Fury of the North. The, the game's probably over. Hopefully, they don't have it. 
they do. A morsel of crit, a disgrace. Now, please not Sejuani also. I hope they don't just get ha also have make it rain and then have a super lucky make it rain. the vulnerable thing. <clears throat> they didn't figure that out previously. I like Vlad Sejuani, yeah. I think that's a, a good combination, especially to play Vlad, you know, like if you want to play a Vlad deck. Sejuani's just amazing, so yeah, I like him. You want some scout poros? Yeah, I think my opponent forgot about the vulnerable, the first attack. I think that's why they didn't pull it with like the poro and stuff. I think they just forgot about vulnerable, the first attack. All right, well, we're doing better. We're getting there. One four, the last five. After starting one three with this, one four, the last five. So that's good. We're getting there. All the new champions, Twisted Fate, Gangplank, Swain. I'll take a Fury of the North. I suppose that's what I get. Really don't like drawing six drop six drop back to back to start with. We've been having kind of trouble with that. This is mercy. Absolute worst case scenario is they play the deck hand. Left when I'm done. So obviously they have that. That's the worst possible card for me to see in the entire game, and then make it rain. Yeah. Sure. Cool. Hmm. 
That was cool. Got your back. So I could have passed, but they could still they could still just they'd have it's not like they would waste their mana because their mana would just be spell mana, so they could still just untap play deck hand and stuff, so passing doesn't really make much sense either. I'm gonna play the three one instead of the four two, because if they're gonna block with a, a two two, I'd rather them block a three one. Honor guide me. So yeah, the Omenhawk on the Grizzled Ranger, as we talked about before. Not incredibly valuable. Oh, why do I attack with that? Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, I shouldn't attack with that. I don't get another attack. I'm sorry. I was just, I was just kind of talking, and that was bad. Like a fish in water. <laughs> All right, let's mess some folks up. All right, so the game's gone perfectly for them so far. Here we go. Let's see how it goes from here. You can't do this. Calling strike on the three four. And save it with fury. I probably should save it, shouldn't I? Yeah, I'm playing the six drops are just so good though. Alright, now we'll we'll just play a six drop. Because saving it, I'd be able to attack with a 7-8. I think that's pretty big. And I'd still play War Chefs. Bow to no one. I like that they dealt the three damage to the Sedjuani and not to me. That probably means they have like a Ravenous Flock maybe, or Noxian Guillotine, like one of those two things. Um, that would be... Uh, that would be my guess. Let's see. Yeah, Guillotine would kind of be more of a problem. So, obviously playing Sithra is my best card, but then I only have three mana left, so I don't get to Fury to protect Sejuani. I do do want to have that available to protect Sejuani, so we'll go War Chefs and Illusion instead. So it's Ravenous Flock. Don't get in my way. Darn. Damn soon. Two of them.
play that first. Wow, Sanjo, good job. So you managed to win through an invincible Radiant Guardian with a Quin deck that you're trying out. Good job. I like it. Yeah, that's, that's not, not really easy to do. I guess I could take that thing out. They don't get to block with anything else. I think I'm fairly safe at 8 life. Don't want, you know, like Noxian Guillotine, Ravenous Flock, that kind of stuff to kill my Scythria. Ah, uh, okay, you drew your two repose to prevent them from gaining the life. A long path to get That'll do. Alright, so we should have everything get fearsome. Now they don't have any fearsome blockers. We took out that 3 2. Guillotine. Guillotine I can't do anything about. I think it's worth it to play Warshafts. First, like, the random card they drew. Oh, no! That was the random card they drew? Ugh. Well, obviously it wasn't worth it to play Warshafts, but... I think most of the time that's going to work out for us. Can't fight on an empty stomach. Oh, I should I should have the Lucian attack, attacking afterwards. Oh, well. All right, so they went to two. All right, good card to draw. It wasn't lethal without the shafts. I mean, with the Fury of the North, yes. Like, if if I cast Fury of the North and if, if they had no spell in hand, yes. I mean, it's it's kind of risky, though. Like, if I just cast Fury of the North and they just have a removal spell. It's not like a... It's, dated. it's like an attempt. I could have an attempt at lethal. I thought it was a safer attempt with playing the Warshafts. So I don't I don't refer things that like whenever your opponent has one card and a whole lot of mana I don't refer <laughs> to that as lethal. It's like an attempt at lethal, but it's not having lethal. Having lethal means that your opponent has nothing that would stop you. All right, got the bonus one. <clears throat> okay, um, so there we go. Um, yeah, I mean there there's plenty of removal spells they could have had to keep it from being lethal. Um, you know, even just another Noxian Fervor that we'd seen multiple times. All right, so we're getting better. You know, like, it, it's getting better. I think, I feel like this third part that we're about to do, um, you know, so we'll, we'll go ahead and run this deck back because that's what we're doing today. We're just playing this deck uh, through and through and trying to rank up as much as we can. Started off very rocky, but um, it's coming around, coming around. We uh, just picked up five of our last six games. Um, you know, we started one, three with this video, so we won five out of six and, uh, we're coming back at it. So we're going to do one more of these, like we'll play for about hour, 20 minutes or so. Um, and we'll see how much we can rank up from 876 now. All right. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me know, you know, leave the comments. Um, let me know what you think of this format, if this was something that you enjoyed seeing the same deck 
a lot. This is something that I haven't done at all since um, I started playing Rune Terra. I just kind of stick with one deck for a, a period of time like this. So yeah, leave those comments over there. All right, but anyway, uh, that's it here for Lucian Fury. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.